Howdy, I'm Dr. Erin McGinty and I've travelled to central Queensland today, more specifically the Fitzroy catchment region, which is known to be the Australian capital for barramundi. So here today to talk about their unique life cycle. <laughs> Barramundi typically begin their lives in saltwater environments, so along coastal areas and river mouths where they spawn. Juvenile barramundi will then migrate into freshwater rivers or billabongs, where they'll then spend the next several years growing. Wetter years can provide better access to more habitat, more protection and more food for juvenile barramundi, increasing their survival and growth rates. As they mature, they migrate back to salt water to breed quite often back to the same areas where they spawned. Overall, barramundi populations around Australia are quite healthy, but when you look at individual areas, some areas are showing a decline in populations, whereas other areas are showing that they're quite healthy. The Fitzroy catchment region that we're in today is a prime example of an area where the barramundi population has been really healthy. So unlike the Northern Territory, which has showed a steady decline in populations, the barramundi here have maintained their abundance. And the reason for that is they've had a really unique situation where they had flooding in 2011 and it allowed the dams where they're stocked to overflow and a large number of big barramundi came into the river systems. So when these barramundi from the fresh come into the salt, they're allowed to spawn again and then they can start contributing to that population. Once these barramundi reach over 120 centimetres, they can no longer be harvested and they just sit in the system and contribute to the breeding population. So a really key component of managing a fishery is getting that maximum length that you can harvest the fish right. So with barramundi, for example, they reach maturity around 80 or 90 centimetres, but then they've got about 30 or 40 centimetres of growing where they can be caught as mature, sexually reproducing barramundi. So, one thing we can do as anglers is think about what size fish we're actually taking home. So this is probably 60 to 70 centimetre barramundi, so likely to be a male. They, males start breeding when they reach about 70 centimetres, and then once they turn 80 or 90 centimetres, they turn into female that are reproductive. So if you're in a school of barra catching all barra over around a metre, then they're likely to be highly reproductive females and you should probably consider not taking too many of those home. 